Hey guys, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on the tropics. And so in this video, we're going to be talking about our three disturbances across the North Atlantic Basin. So we have our invests as well as that most recent disturbance that is just about to emerge off Africa. And so before I go into details... <laughs> Alright, so let's kick start things with our new disturbance. And so as you're seen here on the five day outlook from the National Hurricane Center, it is given a 20% chance to potentially develop into a tropical cyclone during the next five days. So the chance is relatively low and conditions are expected to be just about marginally conducive to support some development of the system here. So it is possible that we could have some development, but then it would be more likely that we will not have a tropical cyclone developing from this area of low pressure but we can't alter the possibilities and so if you're in the Cabo Verde Islands you want to keep an eye on this because this might bring some inclement weather conditions to your area it is not expected to be anything very strong or very impactful but nevertheless you always want to be cautious whenever we have these weather systems making their way by so aside from that it is going to be making its way out to sea as expected expected right now and uh, fortunately not expected to be a threat to land and so now let's move on to our invest so first up we have invest 96l and so this disturbance here is located off the southeast coast of the u.s and so we're seeing here that it is given a 70 percent chance to develop into a tropical cyclone so the chance is relatively high for us to have a tropical cyclone developing from this area so it is very disorganized right now and uh, there is still the chance that we could have some development but it is not looking so well on satellite so let's take a look at it so here we have it and we really don't see much organization at all with this disturbance here we're just seeing all that shower and thunderstorm activity taking place so again there is the chance that it could get in shape but it is not looking so good as of right now let's take a look at what our models are forecasting in terms of its intensity so we have quite a bit of models available and actually all of them are expecting that this will achieve tropical storm status so once it is going to be in favorable conditions for the right amount of time then we will definitely have a tropical cyclone developing from this area of low pressure and so fortunately it is not likely to bring any direct impacts to anywhere and so now let's go on to invest 95 l so this is the disturbance that is located out in the atlantic and as you're seeing here it is given a high 80 percent chance so the chance was higher than this at 90 percent but it has been downgraded a little bit so the reason is because it is very poorly organized as well so fortunately with the track here we're seeing that it is not seemingly a caribbean threat so we're having a big change right now where yesterday the nhc was showing it uh probably trending towards a westward track and now it is showing that it is going to be moving to the west northwest after a little bit of time so fortunately even as though this might not be a threat to the caribbean so with the end of this track right here we might have the system making its way to the bahamas moving out to sea so we'll have to wait and see what's going to be happening but i would say that as of right now it's likely that this will probably stay out of the caribbean and so let's look at it on satellite and so here we have it very very poorly organized tropical cyclone with somewhat limited shower and thunderstorm activity taking place with it so that is the reason we have a decrease in the formation chance so very imminent development is not so likely with this disturbance here but we do have a chance of it still acquiring those characteristics and becoming probably a named storm maybe in the next few days or so and so take Take a look at what our models are forecasting. So we do have quite a bit of available models and we have all of them agreeing that this will become a tropical storm and about three expecting that it will even achieve hurricane status which isn't impossible. So once conditions are just right, uh, once we have that conducive shear, no dry air intrusion, no land interaction, once we have all of those along with the warm ocean waters of course, then it is definite that we will have intensification taking place and so we, we're going to be taking a look at the conditions very very shortly guys so as of right now 
in terms of the track expected we have just a handful of models that are available but all are agreeing that it is going to miss the caribbean so fortunately as of right now no direct impacts to the caribbean are anticipated but it is still pretty far out so we really have to wait and see what's going to be happening in terms of this system and so now let's take a look at how conducive conditions are across the basin and so first up we have the ocean temperature map and so sea surface temperatures are very very warm at this time especially in the Caribbean the Gulf and in the vicinity of the Bahamas area right there ocean temperatures are very very conducive to enable some uh, development and intensification of tropical cyclones and so as we're going to be having our disturbance that is out there 95L accelerated more into these favorable conditions in terms of the sea surface temperatures then we will definitely have it uh, be in, a, in an environment with more moisture which is going to be enabling some intensification and so in terms of our other disturbance that is uh, just about to emerge off Africa that one is not going to be in such a favorable environment because as we accelerate more in latitude then there is a decrease in ocean temperatures and cool ocean temperatures do not support tropical development because of course our cyclones need warmth and moisture so without that then we won't really have much taking place in terms of intensification and so now let's go on to the wind shear maps so the different colors they mean different shear intensities so we have the green that means favorable the yellow means neutral and the red means unfavorable and so whenever you have a lot of those red you're seeing a lot of those red lines stretching across and that indicates a highly unfavorable region for us to have development taking place and so looking in the vicinity of 96L it is not in a region that is so favorable right now so this could be uh, one of the factors that is currently influencing the system the wind shear so we have most of the system being in a region of unfavorable and neutral shear but as time goes by conditions could be a little bit more favorable for us to have some development in terms of the rest of the main development region we're seeing here that this doesn't extend all the way to the coast of Africa but we do see some spots of favorable shears in terms of 95L we're just seeing it right in that region there and so that is in a region with favorable wind shear as of right now so we definitely have to wait and see what's going to be the eventual outcome with it and so guys that is really it for this video on the tropics and so if we have our invests developing they will become Odette and Peter and uh, we really have to wait and see what is going to be taking place because as i said earlier the systems are very disorganized right now and the conditions could become a little more conducive for both of them and so if you found this video to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question i'll try to respond as best and soon as i can and just remember to always be otherwise and of course i will keep you updated as time goes by